looks like someone hasn't been waxing their roof. That is, that's something we can say now in 1.17. Scar has been, for some reason, manually taking an axe to his roof to keep it all orange and coppery. And he's obviously been neglecting his duties. Welcome back to episode 2 of Hermitcraft. Today, I'm going to be building my starter base. I think I'm probably one of the only hermits who didn't actually build something in episode 1. And the truth is, I didn't really need to. I was too busy getting everything set up. But first, there's something I need to do over at Mumbo Jumbo's tiny house van life thing that he's got going on. We found out last episode that he will replant trees if you put them next to his base, but he doesn't have to replant them in the same place. Now, this doesn't bother me, hence why I'm going to be adding a fair few trees around his base. I have a way to deal with this. When I make my base, I'm going to make sure that the floor isn't made of grass and it isn't made of something you can plant saplings on. So he can replant it, but he can't replant it around my base. I think that's enough trees. It's going to take a while. We also have this weird problem on the server at the moment. I'm, it might be a 1.17 bug, but basically when a tree grows, especially if it's like a four, the server lags like crazy. So sorry server, but this is... Uh, it's got to be done. So between episodes, I have been farming away massively. I've created a small bee farm, although I don't know where all my bees have gone. I can hear them, and they have been producing a really good amount of honeycomb. Gee, I made this yesterday, and the idea being that I can create some candles. I want to try and get ahead of some of the shops. I want to I want to start making shops as soon as possible and I've been thinking ahead a little bit. So, I've got some candles that I can sell. Oh, did you see that lag? I think it was that tree over there. <laughs> oh dear. So, I've got some candles to sell and I've got also some early game stuff, mending books. I have got a bunch of villagers over there that sell mending books and I can then sell these on for a decent profit, although I'm not sure it's worth it. Now, I didn't expect to end up in a little bit of a tree battle with Mumbo, but even more, I didn't expect that the tree battle would lag out the server and possibly destroy it. So here's my little villager place that I was messing around with yesterday. I've got tons of villagers, and I've got myself a couple of very good books, although they're very expensive, so not sure it's entirely worth it at the moment. But either way, we've got ourselves villagers. At some point, I'll have to set up a proper villager trading hall, but for now, this will do. Okay, so let's now talk about my starter base. I've been putting together all the blocks that I think I'm going to need in order to build this thing. Now, I must admit, every season I try and do something a little unique with my starter base. In season six, I did a shipwreck with a water bottle. That was one of my finer moments. And then season seven, I did a hobbit hole. And this season, I've fallen a little bit short. I haven't really got anything super unique that I can make on this patch of land. So I've decided to challenge myself a little bit to make a house out of mostly 1.17 blocks. I just can't beat some of the creativity of the waxing, <laughs> the waxing building. I mean, upside down boat, boat on a tractor, I, I can't beat these. Minivan, I can't beat these things. I'm going for a house but I'm going to try and incorporate lots of 1.17 blocks and I'm going to need to get rid of this farm here because it's exactly where I want to build said house. So, for the first time in Season 8, let's get into a time lapse featuring some brand new music by our very own Jono. Let's go! <laughs> have it, our starter base made of mostly 1.17 blocks. We've got ourselves moss blocks, we've got the glow lichen everywhere, and we've got some amethyst dotted in there, a couple of candles, all the azalea stuff, and I know that this looks like it might be a cannon. What I was trying to go for was like a telescope, an observatory thing. I think it, it works, but just you just don't look too closely at it and it's, it's a-okay. We've even got some glow berries 
tough and then all of the sort of deep slate stuff so overall i think this works oh and not to forget the copper blocks so if we go and have a look inside i um i did i didn't have time to finish the whole thing <laughs> it took me a long time to make the front and I'm not quite sure what shapes I want to do at the back. No, this this won't be like the mansion. I promise. This won't be like the mansion. In fact, we'll probably finish this later in today's episode. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Oh, man. The, the amount of people that must have been like, no. No, he's done it again. For now, I wanted to take a step back and see if this is exactly what I wanted. And I, I think it is. Like I said, I didn't have a super inspirational idea for this starter base, but actually this has come out pretty good. It's just a house, but it's not been done before because I'm using blocks that weren't available before. The other thing that I did was I accidentally placed a moss block here when I was building, and I actually thought, what would happen if I bone mealed it? And what would that look like as like a patch of moss on the, on the roof here? And you know what? I think this might stay. I might just mix in a couple more deep slate, but overall, I actually really like that effect. I'm really, really liking this build. The only problem is that the bottom pole is seriously encroaching. It's, it actually bugs me that this is so close to my base and so far away from everyone else's. It just annoys me that it's not, in, it's not even remotely in the center. And if we're gonna make this into a little village, including everyone, yeah, it really ought to move. There's my bees. I lost, I lost a bunch of bees out of those hives when I was making that. I found them. They're part of the botum now. The, the bee, bee, beotum? Also, Mumbo's house is almost completely obscured by his brand new forest. He absolutely loves plants, so we're just giving him exactly what he wants. <laughs> uh, I need to make sure that before Mumbo gets on, I place protection around my base. So you see, like, you can't place saplings on top of wool or concrete powder so if i create a barrier that goes all the way around my base made up of this i should be reasonably protected from the replanting it's genius hold on i'll be with you in one sec i just need to put there we go here what do you put up there nothing he put the thing up there nothing oh, yeah. oh. oh. Cool. Oh yeah, I see it. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah I'll, I'll put a sign up there later that says specifically, okay. "Do not touch." I'm glad that you guys are here because uh, the bottom pole is really not positioned well between our houses, and in fact, I'm pretty sure there was a house right there, like an hour ago. I don't ago. know what you're talking about. I didn't burn it down. I, I promise mean, you. Mm. I don't why, know. Why, been why is there no house? Where's your house gone, pal? Um, I don't know. Someone stole it. They kind of just took it, put it on a boat, and then sailed away. You didn't like it, did you? What was wrong with it? <laughs> it was rotated the wrong way. Oh, for goodness. I 90 degree it. angle. That is such a scar <laughs> thing to do. There, yeah, look at him. Look at him. He approves. Look, he approves. Look, it, had a, it had a nose pointing towards the middle. Ripping okay? it down. It, an enormous I just respect the perfectionism. That's what I respect. It's just a starter base. Right, okay, well... It's a good time for moving bases because I would like to move the bottom pole into a more central location between all of our houses. And also while we're there, I had this idea for a bottom hole. <gasps> Ooh. Bottom hole? Yeah. Okay. So okay. We'll, we'll, we'll move the pole because I think it's, well, it's, it's, it's a bit too close to my base. It actually genuinely, it's re pole. it really, really gets in the way of my base. So I think here is kind of a bit more central and yeah. I thought we could have a bottom hole as well as a bottom pole so that we can sacrifice things to it. I don't know what we'll use the hole for to be honest but I figured Whoa. we could use moss oh. to make our way down there. I, I actually wanted to oh, test- griefy block! I wanted oh, to God. test how useful <laughs> this is, right? Is this genuinely a, a legitimate way to dig holes very quickly? Look, it it uh, seems look like up. it. You yeah, can look going up. down here. <laughs> We're going so fast. Yeah, no, we got a breakthrough <laughs> void, but uh, maybe not right now because it takes hours. Yeah, yeah I got it. <laughs> Especially this stuff. We got to make a big imprint oh, on it. Oh, man, yeah, we're going to... Eventually, this will go all the way to the void and there will be a true sacrifice. But I think for now, we should just go up there and 
do a fake sacrifice. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> who's who's going to be the sacrificee? Yeah. Last one at the top. Can we talk about this? Last one at I the mean, top. Who's going to sacrifice? Are you going to break through? No. When I don't know if anyone's behind me or not. Oh, impulse. I have 43 levels. Please not me. Last one's at the top. No. You broke the ladder. You got to break this dead up there. I broke the ladder. Oh, not me! He's coming! Hold on, I got you, boss. You're the worst! There's six! Oh, oh no! Ha ha! Oh, no! No! Ha ha! Uh oh! Ah. Wait, me too! No! No, 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 it's all over! <laughs> Bye, Scar! Oh no! Oh no! Thanks for the assist, Pearl! What happened? <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> Oh, I was sabotaged. <laughs> you know what I thought on the way up? I thought, oh, for once, it's not Scar. <laughs> I was doing so Psych. well, too. Okay, the bottom pole is back. And now it's here? above oh, the bottom hole. And now we can sacrifice Scar to the bottom hole. Oh, Yay! no, did we change our mind? I think we changed our mind. Scar! Oh, we didn't change our mind. Hey! Um, Hold on, so I got, I got, I got, a, I got a great idea. I got, no, hold what? on. No, 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 no jumping. Right, there you are. You got to stand up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, Rock in the plane. Careful with the jump, though. You might hit your head on the bed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That was going to happen. That was not scar proof. <laughs> <laughs> that was not. <laughs> well. Oh. I that one knew, is planned. I knew he couldn't make the jump. <laughs> oh, what a tease. <laughs> okay, from that, can you make that jump? I think you can make this jump. You can yeah, make that there jump. There you go. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I'm not standing near the edge. Not happening. Not happening. Oh, gosh. Okay, I have a question. <laughs> If someone sacrificed themselves here, right? The survivors get his oh, loot, no. right? Mm -hmm. Right? Uh -oh. No, 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 no! This is the I mean, best idea we've ever it up. had! Alright, I've got... I think I've got everything of theirs. We'll go back up to the top. Oh, no! no oh, no! <laughs> this is... This is this is one of my better ideas. A hole that you can die in over and over again. Genius. All right, bottom pole and bottom <laughs> hole. Yeah. There we go. I Has anyone it. got glow squid ink to put in that? Hey, hey bottom hole. 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 Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, you know we got off pretty lightly because once we break through bedrock into void, the next sacrifice loses everything <gasps> permanently. That's right. All my stuff was <laughs> <been> gone. <laughs> Oh, and being man. a boat on pole, they have to ride a boat off the plank, right? Yeah, straight yeah. into the void. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glide down into the void. Perfect. Do we have any it's ideas be... of who would be a first victim to this? Mumbo. I am very curious how you do this. I've never seen you do this before. Oh, don't, so Scar. Be no, you can't do that. What? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. oh, come on, Scar. You had it. <laughs> I think he had it, and then he jumped off himself. <laughs> he would have been fine. And he would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> he I can't think he do surprised that. himself that he landed on a block. <laughs> he can't do that. He can't. He can't do this, and then no. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Here he comes. Okay, we hit an iceberg. It's fine. It's fine, anticlimactic. Okay, we're a lot of icebergs here. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> Ow, okay. I was inside something dark. It was there we go. Uh, here he comes. Grace. Hey, my stuff. Grace. Hey, excuse me. <sighs> yes? Well, <laughs> guess who's got the bigger hat now? <laughs> uh, I'm, glad I'm glad we did this. Not only does it not block my base, it's now a bottom hole, and we can sacrifice things to the bottom hole. Wow, looks like Pearl has already turned her base around, quite literally, and now that she's done that, I agree. Actually, do you know what? The village is really starting to take shape now that we're all kind of facing inwards, and then there's Scar in the background with his giant monstrous machine. That's actually a really, really nice house design. Oh, oh. Okay, someone should someone should really put a fence around the bottom hole. And 
It turns out that my house has had a bit of a makeover as well while I was gone. I saw you were struggling with the back of your base, as always. Hmm. So I fixed it for you, peace, love, and plants. Ah. Uh. <laughs> See, I, I expected this. And you know what? I'm, I'm not even, like, I'm not even that annoyed by it because it, I, for some reason it seems to work. Mumbo has decided to plant a bunch of trees on the back of my house and it actually makes me want to plant some trees as part of the build. Maybe I can make, make that work. Mumbo probably thinks that he's got me checkmated good and proper here, but I don't think he has. And now I'm going to take this down because I need to actually finish the back of my house. I shouldn't have left my house so vulnerable overnight so Mumbo could do something to it. But I've got a way to be uncheckmated. So Mumbo is replanting, or has replanted, every tree that I planted around his base. So, in order to be uncheckmated, otherwise we're going to end up in a constant loop of planting trees in each other's base. I need to think of loopholes to get round his own rules. And he has to keep making his own rules to get round my loopholes. So in order to win this silly log related battle that we've got going on, we need to think outside the box. The joke's on both of us a little bit because <laughs> we're just using this as an excuse to farm logs. Look at this. I think this season I need to just see how far I can push Mumbo's peace, love and plants thing. There we go, all cleaned up. I've got your number, Mumbo minivan. But before I can get back at him, I need to get back to the back of this. That's a lot of backs. So without further ado, let's immediately get back into another time lapse and get this thing squared off. We can't leave this lingering. Let's go. the heck is this moustached patat doing? <laughs> what is going on here? Well, you know, the other day when we were in the boat and you called me potato boy, I was like, man, that has a ring to it. So I've become a potato. I wish you could see my face in real life. <laughs> you look like a wrestler. I mean, it's a real look, isn't it? It's a strong, it's a strong vibe. It's a very strong tater. <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. No, neither am I. I must admit, you know, it's... Oh, it's, it's the a, hands it, as well. Oh, well, no, the, yeah, the hands have been added, and then sometimes I just hold two potatoes for effect, just because it really just drives home the potato -iness of everything that's going on, you know? You know, I logged in earlier briefly, and I thought you were just wearing a gold helmet. <laughs> <laughs> potato boy tater vendor. Oh yeah, this is my new tater vendor machine. Yeah, no, I'm just I'm working on it. The redstone should actually be almost done. Uh, if I get this, 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 I might do my first test right now. What could possibly go wrong? There you go. You can you can now get potatoes if you if you want any. And then that's that's where you put your payments and things. I think you started a... a business venture where not a single person wants to buy any. <laughs> it's loads of is... deer all over again. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> that is totally my vibe. Actually, that is. <laughs> But see, here's the plan. This is not going to be the only one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover the whole server oh. in these. <laughs> oh, okay. Good yep. luck to you, Tater Man. Because <laughs> what? Do you not think this is gonna work out? Do you no, not? I, is I, that... As your friend, I fully believe in you. <laughs> okay, good, uh -huh. good. Because you know, I like, I feel like I'm a pretty good mascot for it. I mean, uh -huh. look, can you imagine this on a poster? I can. Yeah, I can. I can confirm you are a potato. <laughs> <laughs> well anyway it's uh it's nice to see you buddy um your base looks cool and uh i guess but, yeah, i'll get th back thanks to for, thanks for finishing the back of it for me <laughs> oh, that's quite all right dude that's, oh, it, does, does that end the war by the way like the the planting thing is that oh, done oh no oh no it's just just begun you best not close those draw door i knew you were gonna do it <laughs> <laughs> he's going. He's got. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. All right. I have time. Oh, he's left the game. Okay. I have. I have actual time 
to do this while he's gone. And it's super easy. All I need is bone meal. So, here's my thing. He thinks he's got me checkmated, Mumbo, the new tater, tater king. I am only going to place one tree. One singular tree on his house. But uh, here's the thing. Here's how we uh, get around his newfangled rules. It's one really big tree. I think as long as we have one continuous log all the way up to <laughs> the sky limit, I think we've naturally got ourselves one tree. So if he's going to replant that tree, it's just one. I, I definitely will not need <laughs> any taters from Potato Boy. All right, let's get this. Let's get this all the way to this. The, let's get this to build height. I need to hope for some extra large trees. I love finding loopholes in Mumbo's nonsense. We're gonna prove that this is all, all a, all a giant sham. He's a, he's, he's just talking nonsense all the time about this peace, love, and plant stuff. He, he has to kill stuff in this game. In Minecraft, you cannot avoid <laughs> having to kill stuff one way or another, or he's going to rely on other people to kill mobs, etc. It won't be long before he's telling us that, ah, uh, you know, zombies are, uh, they're kind of undead, so they were never really alive, so is it really killing? We're going to hear that kind of nonsense before long. You know what? My house looks pretty nice. <laughs> Scar keeps waxing, in quotation marks, or the copper, but what he's really doing is de-waxing. Like, when he uses an axe, he's he's removing it, right? Because if you want to wax it, you got to put honeycomb on it. So he's not actually doing what... <laughs> Scar's waxing service is actually Scar's de-waxing service. We're getting, we're getting close to that height where it's, uh, it's getting pretty dangerous. One big tree. Uh, this, this took a little longer than I thought. Why are my cows all shuffled over to one corner? Now that is weird. I think we might be at the top. Yeah, okay. No more trees can be planted. However, we can plant a sign. This is one tree. Feel free to replant a sapling in its place. And now we go all the way back down. Oh, and he's just, as I've just got to the bottom, he has joined back. Hopefully he's not gonna come back through that portal right this second. Oh, <laughs> dear. That is a Minecraft monstrosity. I have not seen anything on Hermitcraft quite that ugly in a very long time. Wait, what happened to my eyes? My eyes! My eyes are gone. Oh, there they are. I decided not to detail every single aspect of the house because I definitely want to add a few more shapes and... It's only episode two, so I need to leave some room for improvement. In fact, I think I missed a bit right there. Well, I want to add a few bits to the back of this and some space for farms and stuff. So there's definitely lots of room for improvement. It does take a while to make a house. I mean, this is one of the bigger starter houses that I've ever made. So I think, I think room to grow is probably a, a really good idea. Scars waxing, a surprise every time. First time is free. Also, the wax is coming soon. I lost my bee. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Except it's, uh, like I said earlier, it's not even waxing. So I've just now... That used to be blue, so he's come in and waxed it. Fortunately, my base works well with either one of these. I think we've got quite a nice thing going on here with all the little details everywhere. And oh, no, oh, the, the, but, oh my, my stomach just dropped out of... Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little, <laughs> there's a little escape hatch here. Oh man, the bottom may take more than more than sacrifices. It's got a it's, it's thirsty. It's thirsty for for our blood. One diamond, three stacks. A diamond for three stacks of potatoes. That's I mean, potatoes are really easy to get. If he starts if he starts going mad into this tater thing, then I'm going to have to put a stop to it. What is this? What? Why am I not suffocating? Oh, I am. I am. Whoa! <gasps> this is amazing. It does. It does hurt. It really. It, it does hurt quite a lot. 
Oh my goodness. I'm on a I'm on a roller coaster around the village. So if I'm gonna set up an early shop in the next episode, I'm going to need to get a little bit more stock. Now, the thing that everyone needs early game, because I was also one of those people. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that in the background. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. The one of the things that I needed a lot when I started out was mending books. So if I can set up a little shop to sell some mending books, that would probably get me quite a long way. Problem is, it's, it's super, super expensive to actually get everything that I need. These, these villagers haven't been turned into zombies and cured. So everything's a little bit manual. Oh my goodness, there's a, there's a lot of iron golems. Okay, so I've got six mending books in total. And now I can set up a little shop just outside my base that sells, <laughs> every time I see this, that sells these mending books. Now, I think that, honestly, if I'm selling them at even two diamonds, I'm kind of wasting my time because it's so expensive to get mending books from the way I'm getting them at the moment because I haven't set up a proper villager breeding hall. So, you know, I have to trade several stacks of wheat, paper, potatoes, just to get one or two mending books. Not to mention all the hassle in breeding the cows up. Like, honestly, three diamonds. That's what I'm thinking. Three diamonds as it is genu- I would genuinely be better off just going and mining for diamonds otherwise. There we go. I've got- a I'm gonna have a traveling train shop this season. Mending books. There we go. Okay, this is all I can afford to sell at the moment. An ender chest. Honeycomb, which is one diamond for three stacks. Mending books, which is three diamonds for one book. Or there's a discount if you buy more, five diamonds for two. That's the best I can do without it not being worth it. And then ender chest, which are an early game thing. One diamond each. Super useful stuff. So, I will probably add more to this shopping train as I go along but for now it shall roll on I've just I've just thought of something if I if I have this train I know it's a minecart at the moment but eventually it will be a train and I'm G I'm G the G train or the grain huh I think we've just got the shop for our season forget the barge we're going on wheels it's not the most impressive thing, but it might just be the first shop of the server. And we're just selling anything we can get our hands on. We're going to be far more successful than the barge ever was. And we're going to do so much more with the train tracks or the rail tracks. Forget mine carts. Oh, Mumbo, your, your van's getting... Your van's a bit dirty. Let me, let, me, let me clean that up for you. So, I think that is the end of episode two. We have thoroughly done a lot of things. We've made a base, which, although it looks quite big from the outside, it's, it's very just detailed. And on the inside, there's not a huge amount of space, although there is a lot more space than our, uh, our tater friend over there. But there's not actually a huge amount of space in here, so we're going to have to get quite creative with what we do. So, I think next episode, I want to actually finish the exterior first. You know I hate interior. So, we'll finish the exterior first. We're going to add a few more shapes to get a bit more space out of this. And we'll probably go and do some things like get our shop rolling into other spaces. See if we can get some early sales from those much-needed diamonds. So, all there is left to say is... Thank you to Jono for making some excellent music for this season. I'm going to be showcasing quite a lot more. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying Season 8 as much as I am. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye!